So as many of you can probably already tell, this is a little bit of a different video. I feel like typically when I do these whole face cam videos, it's always very, very serious. This isn't. It's actually the complete opposite of serious, I guess not serious. Basically this past weekend, you know, I was a little sick. And then today I was like, you know, I don't really want to make a typical video, one of the normal ones I do. And I've been throwing around this idea of doing some fallout quizzes online, filming my reaction to them. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna do it. Very experimental, very unlike the typical content I post, but I figure, hey, maybe this will be kind of fun. I did try and throw down a fallout blanket to spice it up a little, but I don't know if it worked. But all that aside, what we're actually going to be doing in this video is going on the internet, typing in fallout quiz and trying to take the quizzes. I cover fallout almost every day and I have been for like three years now, so I should probably know some stuff. But the question is, how much do I actually know? How well versed in my fallout lore am I? And maybe after this video, we'll actually find out. I don't know. Again, this is very experimental. So if you want to see more stuff like this in the future, you should leave a comment or something to tell me. But otherwise, the first quiz is on thequiz.com or net. I don't know. From July 18th, though. So that's pretty recent. It's probably not July 18th, 2019. Either way, how well do you know Fallout? We're going to find out. And they actually have the OG Fallout picture. So that's a good sign. It's not just Fallout 4 and up. It's some of the older ones, which my history or knowledge of those a little iffy. So question one, what is the most common form of currency in post-nuclear America? Oh, well, let's see. Bottle caps. Yep. Okay. Starting off with the easy ones. What does special stand for? Strength, perception, and dirt. Okay. Very, very easy. This might be a scrap quiz. I don't know. What was the purpose of the vaults? That's deep and kind of philosophical. Experimentation on people, protection against nuclear strikes, racial cycle. It was in a hmm. I don't know. How deep does it go? Because I guess fundamentally protection against nuclear strikes, but they also wanted to experiment on people. Five hours later. I think with this quiz, I'll probably pick experimentation on people. And I was right. I don't know about that one. That one's that one's a little iffy. In the first game, why was the vault dweller sent into the wasteland? Uh-oh. All right, now we're getting old school. So this is probably the like the first fallout. First ever fallout began with a simple enough problem. All right, so this is the first genuinely hard question. Plus, how smart is this quiz? Like, is this the first Bethesda, like Fallout 3, or actually Fallout, a post-apocalypse, whatever the title is? Well, actually, at the beginning of this, they did have the actual, yeah, Fallout post. So they did have the, o so maybe this is legit. Maybe they also just Googled Fallout and put the first thing that popped up. Um, I guess the only actual answer is to find a water chip, which was the point in Fallout 1. What strange ingredient was put into in Nuka-Cola Quantum prior to the Great War? Oh, I actually don't know that off the top of my head. I mean, you assume radioactive isotype, uh, isotopes because Fallout? I, I'm just realizing now, after this video, I'm going to get butchered in the comments for not knowing some of these. Probably not powdered for iodine cocaine. Cocaine was like real life, so it can't be cocaine, right? They didn't rip off real coke that bad. I'm going to guess radioactive isotopes. Oh yeah, I was right. Nuka-Cola was undoubtedly the most popular. Oh no, this is just the history of it. Which variant of Nuka-Cola causes one's urine to glow for a week afterwards? Oh, I have no idea. I mean, Nuka-Cola Quantum, radioactive isotopes, that seems like it'd go hand in hand. So it seems like the safe bet. Oh, yeah, there you go. Because I know it's not a thing in real life when you take like iodine for like a test or something, your pee glows, I, I think. I don't, I don't know. What do I know? So how long did the Great War last? Ooh, isn't it two hours? I'm try I feel like none of the newer fallouts actually really talk about that. I'm pretty sure it was two hours from when the bomb started falling to everyone just kind of was like, all right, that's it, we're dead. And two hours is written like T-W-O, so I mean, right? Yeah, okay. All right, so damn, we're on we're a good freaking roll thus far. Question 12, and we're still, uh, oh, uh-oh. What triggered the Great War? Uh, disputes in the China set, well, it was with China, right? The assassin, not, I don't think it was either of these. Wasn't it the energy? It was the resource wars, right? The energy crisis? Oh yeah. Oh God. All right. We're getting like, I could tell now we're getting that territory. Some of these questions are getting a little deeper and I could see myself getting slipping up a little. All right. So I scrolled down a bit because some of those questions are just a little too easy for my vast knowledge of fallout. So you need to up the difficulty a little bit. Went from easy to maybe normal now. So which faction is centered around Elvis impersonation? I don't really remember. Like, I, I don't know. There were, I, I assume it's the Kings, but I haven't played Fallout New Vegas like actually in so many years. 
Yeah, it is the king. So they just sound familiar. That's just good test taking though. I didn't know that one. Who was the voice actor for the character of Benny in Fallout New Vegas? Oh man. Benny? Oh, if it's Tom Cruise or Ryan Gosling, I feel like I would have known that. Matthew Perry sounds familiar. Oh, is it? I have no idea. Who is Matthew Perry? Really? Who? I don't even know who this guy is. Him. All right. Evidently, I uh, I knew that though. What was the initial plan of the Enclave when it came to post-nuclear survival? Um, kill ever reignite industry by social reform. I don't. Oh, really? It was colonizing a new planet? I did not know. That's the first one I've actually gotten wrong. Damn. Yeah. No, I actually didn't know they wanted to colonize a new planet. Maybe I, I feel like I, I probably should have known that one though. When was the first Fallout video game released? Uh oh, I want to say 95, but it could have been 97. No, cause I was born in 97. So I feel like I would, I think it's 95. Oh no, it was 97, damn. Wow, so the Fallout games are 22 years old. Yeah, damn, I actually really didn't know that one. How many of you actually knew that though? Like I knew it was 95 to 98, but I didn't know one. All right, so this is an actual kind of hard one that I bet not many people know. To avoid controversy, what was the fat man were named to in the Japanese versions of the Fallout games? Man, I don't know, because, okay, so the fat man, that was the name of one of the nukes that was actually dropped on Japan. So I could see how that could hit the feels, be a little bit of a touchy subject. What was it renamed to though? Uh, the nuke launcher? The death launcher? Man portable nuke? Man portable nuke sounds kind of clunky, but that's also the translated. Like, I feel like that makes the most sense. Or the death launcher? Or then maybe even the nuke launcher, but I'm gonna go man portable nuke. Oh no, it really was the nuke launcher? Damn, who knew? In 1969, the 50 states were split into how many commonwealths? Uh oh. Now we're getting into uh, the tough questions. The 50 states were split. Damn, so how many common? Well, okay, wait, think to the Fallout. Fl Is it not just how many stars are on the Fallout flat? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or. 27 seems high. I'm gonna guess 13. That just seems. I mean, that's the same as the original 13 state. Oh, it was 13. It, I, so it must be that flag. All right, so that one, you know, whatever. We had to move on from that one. Too many easy, low ball questions. I probably edited like half of them out. But now, maybe a little bit more interesting, I found how well do you know Fallout 4? Hopefully pretty well. I covered this game like the most out of any Fallout and just played it a lot. All right, so that first one was a little bit too easy. So I had to up the challenge, up the difficulty to make an interesting video to really test those burn cells up there. So next we have the impossible Fallout quiz. And well, how well will we do? I don't know, how well will we do? Although it actually being called the impossible quiz makes me think it won't be impossible, but we'll find out. What does VATS stand for? Uh, vault Tech Assisted Targeting System? Vault Tech Assist, no. Uh, assist a tracking system target no targeting yeah oh it doesn't tell me if i got it right or wrong there are so many ads on this page my god on which day did the bombs 23rd of october we should all know that because it was right when fallout 3 came out right 23rd right i think so the soundbite used for firing the fat man is made from what oh man the bethesda office elevator wait what's a fat man it's like ch -ch. No, no, okay, that, that was horrible, but that's, like, I could picture the sound kind of in my head, right? It's like, chung, or something along the, I don't know, it's actually really hard to try and picture that sound effect. I'll play it now, just so you could hear it, but for me, I'm still, it has that, like, um, whistling sound after it, uh, fires. So a bell from the decoration of the Bethesda Christmas party, it's not really a, oh, it is a bell. I was gonna say the elevator chime. I have no idea. It's a bell. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong sound. I feel like I don't know how that's a bell. The lunch bell at the canteen. I'm gonna go with the elevator chime just as a shot in the dark. I have no idea though. Uh, the fat man was based off the real life version of what? It was a wasn't it a Vietnam era weapon? Oh God, I have no idea though. Because these sound like jokes. Daniel Boone and Davy Crockett are not, right? It can't, it can't possibly be either of those. So, and then Samuel, or maybe William B. Travis. No, he's got the B. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll try that. That's another just complete guess. 
If the Wild Wasteland perk is activated, which British comedy is referenced in Easter eggs? Monty Python. Right? It's gotta be my- it's always Monty Python. I've never even heard of any of the other ones, honestly. What is the tagline Ron Perlman says in every Fall game? War never ever- War never ever changes? No. War never changes. This is just making me feel like I know literally nothing about Fallout, taking all these freaking quizzes, and probably not doing too well. Uh, which casino was not on the strip in Fallout New Vegas? Um... Oh, is it like which one of these wasn't in the game? Or which wasn't on the strip? I think, but are all these in the game? Yeah, right? It's been so long. Some of you, are, I bet for this question in particular, some people are screaming at their screen. Um, I'm pretty sure, I know, well, I know of these three. The Tops, Gamora, and Ultra Lux. Like, I, I remember all three of those, so it's probably the Atomic Wrangler. And is that is that that one that's like outside next to that bar? How many vaults were constructed by Vault Tech? Oh man, I think it's 250, but that's like kind of a shot in the dark, but I feel like I remember that number. What does Gex stand for? The Garden of Eden Creation Kit. Easy peasy. Yao Gua. I have no idea how to pronounce- I've never known how to pronounce these names. They're mutated from which animal? I assume a- Oh, a grizzly or a black bear? Oh man. Or is it not a bear at all? No, it's gotta be a bear, right? How could they not? But is it a grizzly bear or a black bear? Well, where are they located? They're located in the Commonwealth, so... Yeah, they're on the, they're only on the East Coast. Are, are black bears on, yeah. I would guess a grizzly bear, but I don't, I, I think both grizzly and black bears are on the, right? Or maybe not, maybe I have no idea what, I feel like it's a grizzly bear. Grizzly bears are on the, I know that, so. Right, press of elimination. I only scored a 60, oh man. No, I, I failed, I wouldn't even, pass. if this was school, I would not have passed, that was easy. Which of the bombs up? The f oh, the lunch bell with the canteen? Who calls it a canteen? That's what made me think it, wasn't it? Like who calls a a dine not a dining area a canteen? It's really the Davy Crockett tactical nuclear recoil. Well, it should have tactical nuclear. I, that should have been a giveaway for me. That was dumb. I, I didn't pay close enough attention. Damn, what? It, it really is that thing? Like what did this look like? Oh wow, a little different than a fat man. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it seems like it would uh, be pretty scary to operate. It actually looks remarkably similar to the little bomb. Looks very similar to a fat man's bomb. Damn, I can't believe I got that wrong. I don't know. I should have got that one right. Monty Python. All right, I'm happy with that. That was easy, kind of. It was. It was maybe a little hard for me, but easy for others. War never changes. Easy one. Which casino now? Oh, I actually did get that right. The Atomic Wrangler. Yeah, I like only vaguely remembered that, so I'm I'm happy with that answer. How many vaults were there? 122. Oh man, I'm definitely getting angry comments about that one. I should have known that. Now I do. 122. Oh, it, it is a black bear. What? Are black bear? So apparently black bears are on the East Coast. I I feel like that was that was a tough one. That last one in particular. That was probably the hardest quiz thus far though. So it wasn't impossible, but it was, I failed actually. So for me, it wasn't possible, but otherwise, yeah, a little bit of a different video. Was this entertaining? Are you even watching this? Did I upload it? Obviously very different. Hopefully you found it at least funny or maybe you learned something. I definitely did. Like the, the canteen bell is what the fat man is based off of. So who knew? Either way, as always, again, I thank you for watching. Coming the rest of this week, I'm actually going to have a lot of mod videos. Like it's going to be mod week, like shark week, but mods. So you can look forward to that. But otherwise, Otherwise, again, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time. Later. All right, so now we found a different quiz. This is actually just made by someone, not a website, but made on a website. And this actually seems quite a bit more difficult. I scored 30. Wait, what?